Hi, this is Roy Hendricks from Golden Heights, California on 8-13-2021, bringing it to you. And what do we have a special here from NBC News, and it is so poignant that, folks, for your information, I have been on the Golden Heights uh, Community Coordinating Council and Los Angeles County Supervisor Virtual Meetings, the Roland Heights Gazette, Next Door, and Roland Heights Buzz, noting the immediate need for California State and L.A. County State wide system of campsites, European style hostels, and public toilets to deal with the transient slash homeless uh, populations slash cultures. Watch the following NBC segment and ask, what is wrong with California values? Don't move to Texas, bring their values to California. Thank you very much. Native reporter, Joel Grover. Homeless encampments under freeways, in public parks, in every corner of the city. It looks just like Los Angeles, but this is Austin, Texas, whose voters, like LA's, identify mostly as Democrats and progressives. I uh, grew up poor. I'm a registered Democrat. Cleo Petrasic is a Latina and a lifelong Democrat. She co-founded a group called Save Austin Now two years ago, when Austin's Democratic mayor and city council stopped enforcing the city's ban on outdoor camping. Like that, we have tents popping up everywhere. Petra Six Group got enough signatures to put Proposition B on the ballot this past May to ban all outdoor camping in the city of Austin, and it passed by a landslide. Let's set up safe campgrounds for them where their security have access to water and toilets to restore their dignity. It was a harsh rebuke to Austin's Democratic leadership, including Mayor Steve Adler, who opposed the ban. He sat down with the I-Team over Zoom. Do you understand your voters' frustration over the homelessness issue? Absolutely. They sent a very clear message that they don't want to have people camping in our state. The city of Austin is now clearing out encampments, moving people into shelter, including hotels and converted parking lots to comply with the will of the voters. Austin police can now even arrest those who refuse to move. Homelessness is an incredibly tough problem. Uh, there's so many competing interests. How do you get homeless people off the streets who refuse services, refuse help, want to stay on the streets? I don't know the answer to that. Some of those living on the streets of Austin say it's not fair to criminalize the unhoused. I want to know the reality of what's going to happen to my brothers and sisters out here on the streets. Here in Los Angeles in June, City Councilman Joe Buscaino proposed a total ban on outdoor camping similar to what Austin voters approved. We need common sense rules on our streets, but the council instead instituted a partial ban on encampments only in certain areas, such as near parks and schools. And in most cases, council members will have to take a vote each time the ordinance is enforced, raising questions about the law's power to create real change. That's why some people who live near encampments think the voters should weigh in on a total ban on encampments in all public spaces. Nothing is changing. Heidi Roberts is an advocate for the unhoused who co-founded the homelessness housing group Haven. Do you want the people of LA to vote on a public camping ban? Well, I think that's a fabulous idea because I feel like the people want to solve this problem, but the politicians just don't have the will to solve the problem. They're fed up with what they see as an unresponsive political leadership. Joel Bellman worked for various L.A. County supervisors on the homelessness issue for over 20 years. All we see is the problem getting worse. Bellman points out that past attempts to compel people off the streets here were either blocked in court or by financial obstacles. I just don't see how we could ever develop the capacity to house everybody who's on the street now. But Austin, Texas officials are now being forced by voters to find ways to house everybody. And some voters in LA want to send the same message to elected officials here. Do we have enough money to house all these people on the streets? Yes, they have spent billions and billions of dollars and nothing has changed. So the voters at this point need to hold their feet to the fire and make them accountable for creating the change that's needed. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover. For a Lyft driver in Riverside is recovered.